getting a tan in my penthouse, the usual. This is the reason I came here for the potato squirrel. This? And action. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Good, good. So what are your names and tell me where you're from. Hello guys, it's your girl Aya and as you can see, I'm back with another video. As you can see, I am doing my um, makeup. <laughs> I am not necessarily in a rush, but I basically am. I have somewhere to go. I am helping my friend Ron with his <laughs> and hopefully I can go there and get some footage for you guys to see. Life has been really busy for me lately, but in a good way, a good busy. Life lately has literally been so amazing for me. I've like changed my mindset, so it's been better for a while, but like literally it's been quite amazing with like all the stuff I've been doing. I literally am like, can't even compare. Like it's just, like I cannot even really explain how amazing it is like in depth how great life is right now. Okay y'all, so I just changed really quick because production told me they like this shirt better. And I'm bringing like an extra shirt just in case and I have my jacket. I added a little jacket on it because I don't know, I think that looks kind of cute. Y'all tell me what you think. I know my mirror is dirty, so don't talk about me, but kind of cute, right? A little something, something. I think that'll do. I'm here with my boy Laron, I guess. Yes, um, Raya was telling me that she's a really big fan, so I just wanted to hop in. Okay, her. that's not <laughs> where we're gonna do. <laughs> we're on set filming something, a little secret. A little secret. Yeah, secret. Can you keep this this way? Yeah. Um, I'm sure y'all know him from his videos, I guess. Yeah, you know, I've been making videos on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> He's like about. 100, 200 yeah. followers, yeah. yeah. He be doing it, he be doing it. Yeah. A little something, something. I run this little page, it's called The Shade Room, you know? Oh. That's me, yeah, that's me. Yeah, he's pretty shady, it makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Wow. But I'm sure y'all know me from my videos. Laurent, are you smart? Oh, you make those videos? Yeah, that's me. Shut up, that's, that's you that makes those me. videos with the kids? Yeah, that's me. What? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, that's pretty much how that goes. Guys, that's Jabria. Are you smart? Yeah, oh that's God. me. That's me. See, I'm actually here with my fan today, but um, wow, that's that's pretty much the deal. <laughs> That was all me. Hey y'all, so I'm just getting home from filming again. Don't hate me because I didn't record. But I was kind of rushing this morning because like I woke up later than I wanted to, but I still had enough time to get ready. Yeah, so my apologies. But I couldn't really record much anyway, so it would have just been like a hey, I'm on set, which isn't the most entertaining thing anyways. What do y'all think about these cookies? First of all, mmm, this smells so good. Second of all, Delicioso. I know these cookies are very much a hit or miss for people, but they're very much so a hit for me. If you don't like these cookies, your taste buds need to reevaluate because you smack. Okay. Okay, I just picked up my roommate. Um, well, he's kind of <laughs> my house. <laughs> your house? Squatting. My name's on the lease. <laughs> the lies. Yours isn't. It's the way like he just lies for no reason. Anyways, I guess I picked up the person who's been lounging around my house from the airport. They have left me for two weeks. Period. Period? Oh, I mean, hey girl. Wow. It was a joke. I was playing, I think. Wasn't funny. I laughed. It wasn't funny at all. And we are currently at In-N-Out. I don't know what else to say. Don't say anything. See this? This will get him beat up. She's a liar. <laughs> That's why she's a great actress. Wow, acting is being truthful. So I'm not a liar in the slightest. I don't believe that. This coming from the liar themselves. Yeah, anyways, that's all. See you later. Hey y'all, so I am getting ready for a little photo shoot promo event type thing. Basically, I'm the interviewer in this film I was in. I wasn't particularly in the film like that, but 
I was in it and I mainly just wanted to be in it because of the story. I had heard of the story. It's a movie about Latasha Harlins. <laughs> look at me, I look like a wet poodle dog. Anyways, for those of you that don't know who that is, she was a 15 year old girl, I believe she was 15, and she was shot at a Korean corner store and because the lady thought she was stealing, she wasn't stealing, she was grabbing money out of her bag. The lady never went to jail and this happened around the Ronnie King riot so it really just amped up the anger at that time and amped up the riots. Whew, okay. So now I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I will take you guys with me as much as I can. I have no idea how much they're gonna let me shoot or post, but crossing my fingers, I can show something. So I am now on set for the interviews. I'm the first person here, cause I be on time, you know? <laughs> I'm actually here a lot earlier than I was supposed to be, but it's not a problem because I don't live too far. So here's where I'm at. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So right now, I'm just sitting in, we're setting up the light, not we're, <laughs> um, they're setting up the lighting for the interview, I'm just sitting in so they can see how the lighting will look, how the person will look sitting here. How are you guys doing today? We are doing wonderful. Good, good. So what are your names and tell me where you're from. What is the number one reason why you wanted to be a part of this film? Ooh, like I said, um, I feel like it's a story that has to be told, especially with this generation. A lot of people, they, uh, I know from like a lot of people from this generation, they don't really know who Latasha Harlins is or anything like that. And from the older generation who wasn't really, you know, digging deep inside her story, they only know her as the you know, young black girl that got shot for a dollar seventy nine orange juice. So for us to, for me to, uh, for this movie to happen, I feel like it's gonna be a story where people can see her as a person, see her that she was a real life person, and she had problems just like any everyday person. And you know, not just see her as the, the girl who got killed from, you know, a dollar seventy nine orange juice. So I think it's gonna be something deep, it's gonna be emotional, and everybody just needs to come see this film. Hey y'all, so I'm here with the lead actress of the Natasha Harlins film. Hey everybody, I'm Deja Peters. Yes, yes, she is gonna kill it in this movie. I will link her Instagram and YouTube below. Yes, you know, go ahead, give me sure. a follow, give me, Check a, it out. Give me a subscribe. You know? Exactly. She got good content, and she's rolling it out like that, consistent. So you gotta make sure you go check it out. And check out the film. Absolutely, do that too. Yes. yes. So me and Angel are about to go to the movie theater because it is $3 National Cinema Day. It's very, it's very bummy, let's just be real. But we have my new coach bag. 
shout out to my aunt. Thank you. Um, the shoes that everybody comments on because apparently they're cute. They're weird. They're comfortable. Yeah, very funny, but kind of cute. Cute casual. Yeah, that's the thing. My comfy idea. You know, just getting a tan in my penthouse, the usual. You girls could never. Exactly. You could never. I mean, I don't even know how much my house costs. Was it like 10 million? Five? Yeah. Maybe, Something like that? Maybe a little bit of 12 million, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, maybe like 12 million. You could never. They're crazy like these bitches. It's just a joke. Like, we took it too seriously. No, but I really love this place for real. Like, the ambiance. First of all, this is the first time we got to sit in these, like, seats because somebody's always here, which I get it because, do you see this? Like, they're, they, they're comfortable. Exactly. And they're giving. It's giving rich mom. And I, I'm here for it. <laughs> Let me show y'all what is in front of us. The ambiance is very much giving. Very much. Very much. This is why I love this place. If you guys don't know where this is, this is um, we went to Regal North Hollywood. It's like they have this little shopping center here. I'll you know put it here so you guys can check it out. I literally love this place because the vibes. I hate being a vibe person, but the vibes are immaculate. I, I guess the place is called No Hope West. Yeah, it's spectacular. This is literally where I come to come to the movies. And main reason too is because it's free parking. And the tickets are a little bit cheaper, which is really good for California, you know? And usually it's pretty empty. The only reason it's a bit more people is because it's National $3 Cinema Day. Hey guys, so I am with Angel. Yeah. And we're going to a food festival. I've never been to a food festival, so I'm really excited. Have y'all ever been to one? Nope. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I've never been to one, but there's gonna be like, food and games and merch and all this stuff so i'm really excited and i'm ready to eat mm -hmm. yeah so see you guys there Cause 
That is so fly. Feels kind of retro. Either way, I'm digging it. Uh -huh. 